Well, good morning to you now. Bottom of the hour at 6.30, and that breaking news is coming from Capital Metro. A freight train has derailed uh, in East Austin. That's affecting Cap Metro commuters. And Amanda has the latest when it comes to exactly where that's at, and they're even maybe thinking of blaming it on the rain. That's how bad it was yesterday. Absolutely. It happened right around 5.30 this morning. There was about eight uh, rail cars that did derail. This happened right around 5th and Perda Nollis. Now, uh, keep this in mind as you get out the door because there are also blocked roadways. Again, 5th and Perda Nollis is blocked as well as eastbound 6th Street at Robert E. Martinez Street. Also, crews are on the scene working to repair this as quickly as possible. Want to give you a heads up as you get out the door this morning again because you may experience delay. If you can avoid any of those east, um, east side streets, um, maybe try to get over onto 183, help you get over to those main lanes of I-35. Um, again, traffic will certainly start to get backed up in that area. Now, we do have Sophia Beausoleil, who is live on the scene. She's getting us the latest information of how things are working in the area this morning. I've been also tweeting Cap Metro as well, and they've confirmed that right around 730, they're hoping to get um, uh, those uh, travels travelers from Leander over to the MLK area. If we go to Sophia Beausoleil, she certainly will let us know how things are working um, at where the trains were derailed. Good morning, Mandy. You can take a look behind me. We are at 5th and Pernalis. You can see that the freight train derailed on the track. So the issue here is that the freight train is actually blocking the way when it comes for the passenger train. We just talked to Cat Metro. They said the passenger train is running. Here is how it will, it will work. It will go from Leander to MLK, and they're going to have about 10 buses there to take people to their destinations within the city. Now, at this time, we are still waiting for more information from Cat Metro because this is happening right now you can see that the crews are working trying to figure out how they're going to take this freight train get it back on the track and take it where it needs to go but uh, amanda we will have updates for you as soon as we get something new from cat metro reporting live in east austin sophia Beausoleil, kxan news absolutely thank you sophia so much and i'll certainly stay in contact with them on twitter as well and we can get that information out as quickly as possible this morning